welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a good old fashioned plan with me. This is going to be in my catch all planner for the week of May 3rd through 9th, 2021. I picked out the stickers that I want to use and put them on a piece of wax paper to kind of see what it would look like. And I very obviously wanted to go for a purple theme this week. Uh, purple and kind of spooky vibes and I pulled out some of my old um, Honeybee Shop Personality Crisis 2.0 stickers that I've been hoarding since last September. Um, I also added in, this is from the Pastel Dreams Honeybee Shop Babe Box. Um, and then I have some Happy Planner stickers here as well from some various little sticker pads. And yeah, uh, let's just get into it. All right, so we are going to be using the new blackout inserts from Lights Planner Action. I will put a link in the description to Lights Planner Action's website where you can order these. Um, and also her other inserts. This is not sponsored, but just I want to share my love of Lights Planner Action. My friend Queen from Queen's Fancy Plans, who you should go subscribe to here on YouTube. I will also put a link to her channel in the description. Um, she told me about Lights Planner Action and I have been obsessed ever since. And these blackout inserts, like I said, just came out and I've been so excited to use them. So let's get started. So I normally just like put on music and kind of speed through it and do a silent plan with me. I know people like those. Um, but for this one, I'm going to, I'm going to talk a little bit. I'm going to kind of talk through the process, um, just to kind of change it up. And, you know, hopefully inspire you guys and give you some ideas for when you're doing your planner layouts. I'm thinking I want to use... Um, I can't decide if I want to do this white washi or if I want to do one of my favorite washi ever. Again, this is from Honeybee Shop. I do have a link in the description. If you're interested in ordering from the Honeybee Shop, I do have a code that will get you 15% off your order. I do get a little bit of a kickback from it, not monetarily, but in points added to my account that gives me a discount on future orders. But just full disclosure there, but if you're interested, I do have that link in the description, always. Um, but yeah, I think, I think this is just so cute. I think I'm going to do this, and I think I'm going to just kind of butt it up to the bottom... Yeah, I'm going to do it at the bottom of this white line here. Perfect. And then I'm just going to tear it because I'm going to end up cut cutting off the excess later. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Oh, I love this washi so much. Mm, that's a little bit crooked. Okay, and the other washi I picked out to use on this spread, I thought it matched this the best. So this is from Simply Gilded. Oh, it's so freaking pretty. It's this beautiful purple, like lilac-y purple, metallic bat washi. This was from Halloween. I think... I love that we have this blank column here to do whatever we want. I, I just love that. I think I'm going to put it at the top of this box. And I'm going to go in with an X-Acto knife after and cut it like on a straight, you know, just cut a straight line on the edge there. So, so pretty. It's so pretty on the black paper too. And then over here, I think... I'm just going to do it I'm just going to do it kind of like on the on the bottom here and then I'm going to go back and cut it All right Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do this over here before I forget because I am liable to forget about cutting this. 
and I'll go in and cut this off after. I promise. <laughs> okay, so now I'm done with washi, so I'm gonna put my washi back on my little stand. All right, sticker time. Now, since I've never used this particular insert, I'm trying to figure out how I want to utilize this column here for this particular week. Obviously, I could change it up from week to week. Um, well, here first, I guess let's let's do the easy thing first and do the date covers. Now I know we don't need these. You know, because clearly, like, you've already got the days of the week written there, and you're probably like, why are you covering that up? Just because. <laughs> Just because I want to use these date covers. I think they're cute. And, like I said, I've been hoarding this Personality Crisis 2.0 stuff since September of last year, which is kind of crazy. You're no better time than now. And the little, um, the date stickers, like the actual numbers are, that's from a really old Happy Planner, um, book that had like a bunch of different numbers and letters and stuff. Um, and that was really the only thing I had that would work with this, but I think it works really well. So no complaints. All right, date covers are done. I think they look great. All right, so as for the actual month sticker, this is really all I had that matched. So we're gonna go with that. This was, it was from one of the Bay boxes. It was a digital file and I just printed it with a black background. I think I'm just gonna put it right up here. That works for me. All right. So I have this sticker and it has, you know, all the days of the week on it. And this can be used for just so many different things. I've used them for like, um, you know, appointments or like tracking how much water I'm drinking each day, mood, you know, I can write in my mood for each day, um, gratitude, really, there's so many things you can do, but I'm going to put it in this left column here that's kind of just like a whatever column. Like, I, I'm still not sure what I'm <laughs> using it for. So, I'm going to place it down here, and I think I might use this for tracking my water intake. And then each day I'll just go in and write, you know, three bottles or, or whatever, how much, however much I drink. And I can write that in there. I love this sticker. So this one says noted, and I think I want to put this down here. The best thing about this paper is that it is so forgiving that like if you put a sticker down and it's like so crooked, it's very easy to just peel the sticker right back up and it doesn't rip the paper. Like, look at it. It's magic. It's freaking magic. Because I actually, I don't like that there, the way it lays on the washi. You know what? This column says notes. I could honestly just cover it with noted. <laughs> um, which I think I might do. I think I'm going to peel this up. And I'm going to layer this piece of washi on top of it rather than under. There we go. Okay, that's much better. That's very, very cute. I love that. Now, we have this foldable sticker. Now, this is pretty cool. So this is foldable and then you open it up. And it says express yourself and then you can write a little note on it. So I think, I think I'm going to end up putting this over here. 
And usually in these I write something that's just kind of like personal, just kind of like a um, motivational thing or like kind of like gassing myself up. <laughs> just saying, you know, you're doing great or hang in there or whatever. Sometimes I write something really personal um, because it is folded and I do share my stuff, you know, publicly online. I don't, I don't tend to write a lot of very personal things, um, except for in my journal, which I don't share online. Um, so with these foldable stickers, it's really nice because you can put like private stuff in here. You don't have to worry about it because when you take a picture, you just close it. Um, so yeah, I, I love those stickers. And then I want to figure out where to put this beautiful girl. She's so pretty. Look at her. I think... Hmm. Kind of want to put her like on the bottom, almost like popping out of the bottom here. I think I'm going to do that. Let's try that. And again, I'm going to go in and cut all the edges afterward. Just no sense in doing it right now because I might do something like this again. Um, where I need to cut off the edge. So I'll leave that for now. I think she's super cute there. This one says, beautiful girl, take care of yourself. I really like that one. And I think... I'm going to put that there for now. And again, the way this paper is, it's very easy to move stuff. So I'm not like stressing about it. I definitely want this, this cute little cloud checklist. This was from the Pastel Dreams sticker book. I want to put this under to do because that just makes sense. I'm going to line it up as best as I can. I tend to put my uh, checklist down kind of crooked, but yeah, it's a little bit crooked. Very cute. Oh, this one says girls can do anything, and that would be really cute with her. Like, to almost layer it, but I don't want to cover up the text at all. Hmm. Can also put it with her or her. Let's do this is gonna be the full width of this column. I have an idea. See how easy that peels up? No problem at all insane. All right, we're going to do the same thing. This, I think I want to, that's very cute. I think I'm going to keep that like that and then move her over here somewhere. She can go I think I'm going to move her to the bottom and then move this one because this can really go anywhere. Put her there. Put this at the top. And then what we'll do with her is just cut along the top of this washi. I don't want to cut her dress at all. I just want to cut, <laughs> it's going to sound weird. I just want to cut uh, her legs a little bit. <laughs> so let's just move this up just a hair.
Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So I still have this that I want to use. So you know what? I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to put it up here. What else we got here? We have... So I have some of these boxes that I definitely want to use. So like if I know that I have a meeting on Tuesday, which I do, I'll put a box there. And it just kind of reminds me to, to fill that in for that appointment. It's a cute box. And then I know I also have a meeting on Friday. Use this one. Perfect. Oh my God, look at that. That is so pretty. I think I'm going to use this goals header on this one and then I'll just write in some of my goals. I'm going to actually just cover up this first line. I didn't want to cover up any of those pretty little stars there because it's so like it's this beautiful purple foil and I just don't. Yeah. All right and then this one says stargazer can really go anywhere. This one says dream. It's so pretty. Again, can really go anywhere. I kind of want to, because I know I don't use my planner very often on the weekends. Like I use it for like to do's and stuff, but I'm, I'm probably going to do that over here or yeah, I still have room. Um, but I think I want to like kind of make this diagonal from that one. Yeah, that looks cool. I have this little trash sticker to remind me to take the trash out. And this is from Mixie Cat Stuff on Etsy. And trash day is Wednesday, but I take the trash out on Tuesday afternoon or evening. So that's why I'm going to put it on Tuesday. This little switch sticker, just because it's the best sticker ever and I just wanted to include it. It's a switch with pink and purple Joy-Cons and bat wings. Like, are you kidding? This is from Bare Necessity Sticker Co. And I'm gonna put that over here on the weekend. Just, just cause, just cause I want to. We have these Zoom meeting stickers from the Fruity Sticker Co. Friday is payday, so I'm going to put pay bills on Friday. Coffee time. If you have a Wawa near you, it's a free coffee day on Tuesday. Just FYI. So that's why I'm going to put that here. I'm going to put this box here. Hungry, thirsty, and tired. I actually made this sticker myself. <laughs> um, this is something that we used to laugh about when I was a kid. Um, I would pretty much, my dad would pick me up from school and he'd ask how I'm doing and that's what I would say. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and I'm tired. So then he would ask me, are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Are you tired? Um, so I want, and that applies as an adult. It's just even more so, especially the, the tired one. Um, so... I'm just going to put this really anywhere. If you're interested in any stickers that that I have made, which I'm really just kind of starting to dive into it, um, I do have a Patreon. And what I'm going to do is, instead of opening a sticker shop right now, because I'm, I'm just not ready to do that yet, I'm not. I don't want to overwhelm myself. Um, I am going to be providing exclusive stickers to my patrons. So if you're interested, that link is in my bio. Um, it'll be kind of like a sticker club. You get some stickers every month, which is always a good thing. And then, 
Oh, I have an appointment Thursday evening, a therapist appointment with my therapist. Put that there. This is just this is just cute, so I just want to use it. <laughs> um I have this little hollow like bookmark sticker that I just wanted to use just because. So we're almost done. Oh yeah, I picked this one out for payday as well. It's a cute little, I don't know if you can see, it's like, yeah, there you go. Bills and coins. This I'm just going to put by the pay bills sticker. Got nothing on Wednesday, so I might as well just place this one down. I'm going to put this goth juice. I'm going to put this by coffee time. Because uh, I'm a big fan of iced coffee. I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I love it. All right. I think I'm actually going to use all the stickers I put on the wax paper, which is very, <laughs> very rare. Last one, y'all. We got one more box, and I think I'll put that. Mm, I'll put it on Sunday. So, what I'm most likely going to end up doing is just using my tape runner and taping these two pages together so that it goes in order of like you know, the dates. Um, it sucks because then I'm like, I'm wasting, I'm wasting this layout and this layout. And then, you know, I, I'm basically wasting a whole week uh, doing it that way. So I'm not sure. I may end up just keeping like the blackout inserts in a separate section. I currently have them all right here. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but for now, we're just gonna we're just gonna go with this all right anyways y'all that is the finished layout i absolutely love it i'm a little bit obsessed y'all know purple's my favorite color and i love hollow and just the accents and every, i'm just really happy with how it came out i love this layout i love this paper i could not recommend this paper enough um if i had to you know if I had any critiques of the paper, I would say that it is like, just because it's black paper, it shows every little, like, if you, your nail goes up against it, you can see little markings there. Um, that's with every black paper I've ever used, so that's not specific to this one. Um, I will say that some of my stickers are peeling up a little bit, like this one doesn't want to stay down completely, so I may have to use just a little bit of a uh, tape runner on that. Uh, but the rest of them seem to be all down pretty good. This one's struggling a little bit, but it's on top of washi, so that's, that's expected. Um, yeah, the rest of them look like they're on there perfectly, so I'll definitely keep you guys updated, but so far, I'm very impressed. I'm in love, and yeah, I just, I love this paper. So be sure to follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm going to post, I'm going to actually, you know, write in this and share a little bit before I post anything too personal just so you guys can see how my pens look on this black paper because I'm very interested 
to see. I'm a little bit nervous to write on it. Um, I'm going to consult the Lights Printer Action Instagram because I know that Bess, the owner, I know she shared, um, you know, some of the best pens to use. She's been doing a bunch of pen tests. I'm going to use this clip to mark where we're at. And I'm going to close her up in my beautiful cover that I still can't get over. Just absolutely can't get over it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. You can also click the bell to turn on notifications so you'll be notified every time I post and you'll never miss one of my uploads. Um, be sure to also check out my podcast. All this stuff is linked in the description. I have a podcast called Pixels and Planners. There's a new episode every two weeks. I have, I've been trying to do two videos a week here on this channel. Pretty proud of myself for keeping up with it considering I have a full-time job and all kinds of stuff going on in my life right now, but, um, I really enjoy it and you guys just keep me motivated and keep me going when you leave nice comments. So thank you so much. I can't get over this cover. <laughs> Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye!